and welcome back. Who's ever thrown away a battery in the bin? Well, don't, because lithium iron batteries do this. Ah! There's poor people at the recycling centre. You're putting their lives at risk. So there's an enormous campaign to recycle 100% of all batteries because some of them are dangerous. <laughs> And it's not only the danger of fire or explosion. Do we really want those chemicals in our domestic landfill sites getting into the water table? No. So here in France, there's battery recycling centers everywhere. Supermarkets, news agents, just all over the place. But I still think there's a massive problem and the problem is this when we buy something that's rechargeable how do we actually take the battery out when it breaks and what do we do with the gadget okay we can take a battery out of our cameras but so many devices have them built in and when this device breaks i can't take the battery out of it you know it's built onto the circuit board so you really have to recycle the entire product. So I wanted to know, and I thought you would like to know, why are these lithium ion batteries so dangerous? How do they work? Well, like all batteries, lithium ion batteries have a cathode and an anode, and it's full of electrolyte. The cathode, typically made of lithium based metal, releases electrons. These electrons travel through the electrolyte, which is an organic compound containing lithium salts. The carbon based anode accepts the electrons, setting up a flow of electric current. This discharges the battery. Batteries are electrochemistry. The cathode is made of lithium cobalt oxide. The anode is made of graphite. And the electrolyte, which is a liquid, is made of a lithium ion based fluid with either ethylene carbonate or diethyl carbonate as the solvent. And the worst thing that you could do with a battery is puncture it or short circuit it. What is a short circuit? Well, when an electric current jumps, it causes a short. It's most often due to cracked insulation. A short in a lithium ion based battery is due to a damaged separator. These are the ultra thin membranes inside the battery, keeping the chemicals apart. When pierced, it causes a massive over voltage, causing a general heat up and it can catch fire. The separator is a thin plastic sheet. And by thin, we mean very, very thin. Its job is to filter ions and it's a very delicate piece of technology. The separator can break if it suffers an impact. If this happens, there's an uncontrolled reaction until the cathode gets fully discharged. Such a rapid discharge causes a buildup of heat and possibly fire. 
so it's vital that lithium ion batteries never get punctured or overcharged but it's the puncturing in the landfill processing that you and I can stop by recycling our batteries correctly. They could be lurking in your home, at your workplace, in your shed, or even in your children's toys. They seem innocent enough, but handle them irresponsibly, and you could find yourself dealing with zombie batteries. Batteries are a modern miracle. They power the essential devices many of us use every day, from phones to laptop computers, tablets, cameras, toys, and tools. Technological advances means that batteries are more powerful and last longer than ever. But even the best batteries eventually lose their charge and die, destined to be thrown away. In fact, in the United Kingdom, we use and throw away nearly a billion batteries every year. But put them in the wrong bin, and dead batteries can quickly become dangerous zombies which wreak havoc at recycling and waste management facilities around the world. You see, if you throw batteries in the rubbish bin, or even mix them with other recycling, they are likely to be crushed, compacted, shredded, punctured, and exposed to heat or moisture. Once your rubbish leaves the curbside, it really isn't treated very nicely at all. When some types of battery, like those found in phones and laptop computers, are subjected to this violent treatment, they can catch fire and, in some cases, even explode. This puts lives at risk and causes millions of pounds of damage to recycling and waste management facilities. We can see from this real-life footage, filmed at a number of different recycling plants, just how volatile some batteries can be. Watch out! Fortunately, these particular incidents did not result in any injuries, and the fires were extinguished safely. But some battery fires can quickly get out of control and cause major damage. However, you can stop dead batteries from becoming zombies by recycling them responsibly. Batteries contain lots of materials like plastic, metal, and other elements, which can be recycled and used again to make new things. There are thousands of free battery recycling points all over the United Kingdom. You can find them at your local council recycling centre, or in many shops like supermarkets, DIY stores and newsagents. You may even have battery recycling points at your workplace. Additionally, in some areas, your council may offer a curbside battery collection service. Taking your used batteries to these recycling points keeps them separate from other waste and stops them from becoming zombies. They are collected safely and taken to specialist battery recycling facilities where they are sorted and dismantled so the materials can be used to make new things. It's easy to make sure dead batteries stay dead by following these zombie fighting rules. Remove batteries from electronic devices before you throw them away. Always use proper battery recycling points to dispose of your dead batteries. Always keep dead batteries separate from other waste and recycling. Never throw them in the bin. Remember, you can help in the fight against zombie batteries by recycling batteries responsibly. Well, I learned something by researching this film for you, and hopefully you now know why it's a stupid idea to throw away your battery in the bin. Because the truth is out there. Stay tuned for more breaking science on the Professor Simon channel and you might enjoy this film.